so delicious. Before the dam was built, there was Dan the Tugboat. <laughs> What's up, explorers, and welcome back to another episode. If you're new here, my name is James, and I travel around part-time in my 1994 self-converted Astro van named Papa Smurf. Currently, we're on the way to the Kerr Lake Dam, which is the fifth largest in the United States. And also, Kerr Lake is the biggest lake in the state of Virginia, and it's a fantastic place to visit. Upon arriving at the dam, they were releasing water. This was the first time I'd ever seen it, and this is the most birds I'd ever seen in my entire life. Okay, now this is so dope. I just got here in time for the dam to be releasing some water. And there is just so many beautiful birds. This is amazing. This is why I love to explore. You see amazing phenomena like this. Like, yo. <laughs> this is the fifth largest dam in the United States. And it is amazing. We're going to drive across it here in a few. And we're going to explore some trails also. There's beaches. There's a whole campground. There's a lot to do in this area. And like just to witness what I just witnessed blew my mind. I've never seen so many of those. I think they're called comrades. I'm not sure. But I've never seen that many before. Not even in Florida. So let's head out and uh, explore this place even further because that was amazing. That was my first time ever seeing a dam release and I was expecting it to be like a massive gush of water, but obviously that's not how it is. <laughs> amazing. So this is Dan, the tugboat. Yo, check that out. I've never in my life seen a tugboat up close. Wow. Before the dam was built, there was Dan, the tugboat. <laughs> and the sign said it lived a full life whoa look at this it's a water wheel that thing is massive Just imagine how much water that thing can turn. And when it's multiple ones, that's so powerful. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's, uh, let's drive across the fifth largest dam in the United States. This is Palmer's Point. That's where we're gonna go, right down there. It 
Isn't it just so beautiful out here? Ah, oh, this is Palmer's Point, I believe it's called, if I'm not wrong. But, wow. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> Yo, okay, um, ukulele is just an amazing little instrument, and it's so compact, like, I can't bring my full guitar in here, so I bought my ukulele, and this is perfect, like, <clears throat> that's why I really, like, got into playing the uke, I couldn't have my acoustic, so this is a beautiful next best thing, in my opinion, I love it. I feel myself getting hungry, but, you know... I kind of want to wait a bit so I can get nice, good, and hungry and cook a big meal. Um, one that I've never cooked uh, in the van before. So this will be a new meal. <laughs> I hope y'all are excited. I just want to get good and hungry because I want to make like the sides with it. And uh, I don't know though, because it's still going to be a lot of food. Yo, check this out. This is seriously the closest I've ever been to being in what feels like, or what I think feels like, Utah. I can't wait to actually go and see how it compares to the red clay banks in Virginia. Like... Yo, this is a little stuff that just makes me so happy and excited. <laughs> it's so beautiful out here, oh my goodness. As you can see, this meal is gonna be some sort of sandwich of some sort, right? <laughs> so this is the first time I've ever cooked this in the van. I'm gonna make portobello mushroom burgers. Nice plant-based meal with good protein. And on that burger, I'm gonna put the onions, of course, the tomato, and then it's gonna be on the whole grain oat bread. So let's get to cooking and let's devour this delicious food when it's done. This is how I carry cold foods. I have this in a huge Arctic cooler. They sent me all of that stuff once upon a time on my Instagram. So this has been my refrigerator for the past year.
So usually this where the stem was, it keeps it kind of off of the pan. So I cut that so it can lie flush on the pan and cook all the way through pretty quick. All right, y'all, check this out. Mmm, portobello mushroom burger. So delicious. All right, I'm gonna dig in and stop showing off the food that I just made. Woo! Oh my goodness. I'm telling y'all, I outdone myself this time. This is delicious. Wow. Oh, that juicy mushroom. Wow. I didn't make the side of rice with it because I felt like that would have been way too much food and I don't have like a actual nice place to store food so i try to eat all the food in one sitting so that's why i didn't make the rice side to go with that the burger it's it's gonna be more than enough and it is delicious <sighs> that meal i would say that meal was the best meal i have made in the van this far that meal was delicious now it's time to clean up all this mess because it's such a small space. It gets cluttered so quick and it makes you rather frustrated because <laughs> everything's just there like that. So uh, let's clean this up. And since I am at a park, there's trash cans so I can actually empty this trash can. All right, so majority of this mess is clean. I'm telling you, I'm still thinking about that mushroom burger. <laughs> it was really good. And I'm the only one out here. So I have all this to myself. There's a few cars that comes by every now and then, but I pretty much have this all to myself. You know what? There is a nature trail. I just pulled up to it. I think I'm gonna go get some nature therapy the best kind of therapy there is in my opinion <laughs> let's hit that trail look at all the beautiful green just coming back love it I have a feeling it's gonna start raining. So I bought my poncho along with me. We're not worried about rain. We're here to enjoy the beautiful outdoors. So you already know I'm out here and this may apples, chickweed and all that stuff is what supposedly grows with the morales. So we're in morale habitat. I just have to look and see if I can spot anything. But this is definitely morale habitat right by a river. I can't enjoy the trail because 
there's so many mosquitoes I put on bug repellent, but that ain't doing anything. <laughs> like, they're big mosquitoes, and they're biting me, and I'm itching. So, I'm trying to look for morales, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to this time. It's just too many mosquitoes. Sheesh. Where you see the fence, that's supposed to be an enslaved enslaved people's graveyard belonging to a plantation but they're not sure but it's kind of like wild that it's just right here on the trail and there's the stone hit stones and i'll show you see like the stone hid tombs that's usually how you know how where a grave is, you know. It's a lot of them going up through there. Wish we could explore more, but these mosquitoes are eating me up. Oh. All right, hopefully. Y'all, that was miserable. Now I'm all itchy. <laughs> hey, you can't win them all. And that's a part of exploring a lot of things don't go as planned and that definitely didn't go as planned <laughs> those mosquitoes got us up out of there but really that's all i have for you today explorers i hope y'all have enjoyed this adventure seeing that delicious mushroom burger which was in fact delicious <laughs> I'm so very, very thankful for you all. Thank you for following me, subscribing, being a part of the community, helping me to get out there and adventure further. Thank you so much. And as always, Explorers, peace, love, and have a great day wherever you are.